this is what we will draw today so you have all the details that you need here and also the settings of my monoline brush so this is our sketch you can just uh, screenshot it if you want or you have the link in the comments below now let's have a look at our layers the first one is uh, the colors that we will use the second one is the sketch you can merge them together and this is how you will receive it if you just uh, download the link uh, the third one will be just a new layer and uh, please don't pay attention to the group of layers that you can see at the bottom it's just a test that i've done before and i just fo forgot to erase it so now we will reduce the opacity of the sketch layer. You tap on the N and you reduce the opacity until maybe 50%. Now on the new layer, we will choose a very, very bright gray and we will fill the layer with it. Now we add a layer on top of this one. And we will choose this skin color, the first one. And with the monoline brush, we will begin to trace our sketch. Of course, only on the places where the skin should be. You will find the monoline brush in the calligraphy brushes, but I have changed a little bit the settings for this one in order to have smoother line. I, you have all the settings at the beginning of this video. Don't forget, of course, to close the shape now and you can just fill it with the color. We will now add a layer on top of the skin layer and as a color we will choose a pure white. We will use it to make the hat and the dress. So as before you just trace the hat with the monoline brush. You close the shape and you can feel it. You will do the same for the dress, exactly as am I doing right now. Once the shape is closed, you can feel it. We will now choose a black color and we will add a layer on top of the one we just made with the white colors. Now we will use it to make this little shape on the hat. We will use it also for the nose and for a part of the mouth. Don't forget to always close the shape and to fill it with the color. Now we will do the same for the lower part of the dress. There are here three pieces. Again, I'm closing the shape. Of course, when the shape is out of the canvas, you don't have to close it. Now you will make this little shadow, which is on the side. You will do it in black also. And the back of the dress. Now we will add the layer on top of this one and we will choose the red color for the lips. So again you trace around the lips, you close the shape and you fill with the color. We will now add some shadows to the skin. So we will add a layer on top of the skin. We will put it to clipping mask and we will put it also to multiply. The color that we will use for that will be the exact same color as the skin. And the brush is the monoline brush. As you can see, I have unchecked the layer with the white hat so that I can see a little better what I am doing exactly here. So you just trace all the places where we have the shadows. 
there are other ones uh, under the dress and uh, another one at uh, the section of the arm. So now we will use the third color, this gray, and uh, we will of course recheck the white hat layer and I will add a layer on top of the lips. What we will do now is those little earrings and some other uh, add-ons to the dress. Now we will add the shadows on the dress, so I'm adding a layer on top of it and I'm making it clipping mask. And now I will just have to trace where the shadows are. The same thing, you close the shape and you fill it. Now we will add another layer on top of the one we just made. We will put it to clipping mask and also to multiply. We will just add a little tracing on the dress and some other details as you can see right now. Let's remove now the layers with the color and the sketch. I wanted to add a little shadows on the earring, so I put the layer to alpha lock. I will do the same with the shadows uh, that are on the dress, the gray shadows. I will take a darker gray, and to do so, I will use the soft brush that you can find in airbrushing. I have made the opacity very low so that I can work well on the shadows. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit now on the earrings and I will do the same on the shadows on the dress. I will make the brush a little bit bigger, but it will be very, very light. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will be very happy if you could show me your results on Instagram. You can check these other tutorials that I've made and I hope to see you soon.